Hello, sports cards enthusiasts. It's Chris with Maker Sports Cards here, uh, bringing you an opening of a 2021 Diamond Kings baseball hobby box today. Uh, this is a set of cards that I've always had a, a, a love for. When I was a kid, I used to love the Diamond Kings cards that Don Russ still puts in their packs today, but I, Diamond Kings were one of my favorite um, cards in the set back then, and, and that sort of carried over today. So uh, when I saw that this was coming out at the end of April, I had to order a box and thought, why not go ahead and open it on camera and share it with you? So uh, as you can see, I've got the box here. Babe Ruth is on the cover this year. Um, there should be 12 packs per box and eight cards in each pack. Uh, we'll do a little review here. Um, hobby exclusive, there should be two gray frame and one plum frame parallel cards per average on uh, in each box. Uh, and then here are all of the items that are included in the set. Uh, they don't give you odds or no purchase necessary information or anything like that on the back of their box. But um, uh, something to point out when I was looking at the checklist, uh, anything um, card number 101 to 170 basically are short print cards. Uh, and it's a 170 card total base set. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different variations and inserts in here. They have autograph, autograph memorabilia, and memorabilia cards. Um, they have rare short printed inserts of blank slate, uh, the new blackout cards, which I've seen some images of, and those are really cool looking. Uh, and then the street art cards uh, also for this year. They also have some Sandy Colfax autographs and memorabilia. I'd love to find any of that and pull it, but... Uh, you know, we'll see what we get into today. There should be two autographs or memorabilia cards per average on this. And so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. And we'll get to ripping some packs and see what it is that we might get into today. Uh, like I said, I love these cards. Um, as soon as I saw this come out, I wanted to make sure to get a, a box, a hobby box of them to to open just to be able um, you know, to share with you guys and to also, you know, for my personal collection and just uh, for the sheer fact that ripping packs of cards open is a, definitely a lot of fun. So here you go. You can see the packs. They come in this cool little uh, display box. If you see them at your local hobby shop, this is what you'd be looking for. I'm going to go ahead and take the packs out and get the box out of the way because I do work with limited space here on my desktop. Um, but as I said, there should be 12 packs here. So we'll go ahead and Count them out. There's our first six. And there's our second six. So we've got 12 packs. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to ripping these. I try to keep these videos uh, as short as I can for you guys. I know everybody's on limited time. And, and um, you know, anytime that you do have to watch stuff, I want to make sure that you're able to maximize that like I try to do. So here we go. Uh, well, this is a good way to start off this box. The uh, very first card out is a Joey Bart rookie card. So uh, very excited about that. I believe um, that I believe they have most of the main rookies, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, from looking through the, the checklist. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just put Joey Bart out here. Here's a Mickey Cochran card. And here's Luis Robert. This will be a second year card. I do have a, a number of his uh, 2020 Diamond Kings cards. I just uh, I think they're very cool. Uh, obviously, the biggest challenge with these is that Panini doesn't have a license for MLB, so they don't show any of the the team logos. And you can see on his hat here, it's been removed. They also don't use the actual team names; they just use the city names. But uh, still, nonetheless, really enjoy these cards. I love the design of them. Um, I just think they're great. Here's a Spencer Howard rookie, a uh, Keegan Aiken rookie. Here's our first spacer. Uh, Diamond Kings puts this in just to, to kind of ward off anybody that might be going through uh, hobby packs and stores trying to, to search them. I'm going to use it to hide whatever our first insert is here. We'll look at these other two, a Dalton Jeffries rookie and a Trevor Rogers rookie. So this pack was pretty full of rookie cards. Uh, now let's see who this is. It's an elegance card of Mookie Betts. Didn't realize his name was going to be at the top, but uh, these are um, one of the inserts, and these are definitely some super cool cards. I really like these a lot. Uh, the Elegance set, I believe, is a... I think it's a 15-card set, if I remember correctly, on the checklist. But um, that, again, is also a, a really cool-looking card. I just... Uh, I like that a lot. So, um, happy to receive that. And let's get into pack number two. 
I would say this pack feels thick, but I'm going to also say it's probably just a, uh, a spacer, but we shall see what we get here. Um, I don't know that they put those spacers in every pack, and um, but I do know that they do it just to, to make sure that they are uh, trying to keep their packs from being too searched by people. Uh, when they're out in the display boxes and hobby stores. I don't know if your hobby stores like mine, but most of their packs anymore are sort of behind the glass and you have to tell them what you want um, out of it. So, all right, here we go with a George Sisler card. And it looks like we will have a hit in this. Here's a Roberto Clemente, uh, Andy Young rookie, and a Chris Bryant. I'm going to go ahead and go past this. Here's a Legacy Lithographs of Walter Johnson, which a uh, super cool looking card. And Here's our first uh, Diamond Kings of Sam Huff. Now, one of the things I think they did this year, which I believe was different from last year, is they put debut Diamond Kings in. So they've got uh, younger or new players uh, that are just coming up in the league as well. And that's sort of what this card is going to be. And then here's a Trevor Bauer card whoops, in, uh, in Los Angeles. So they've got that updated. And there's the back. You can see that's a short print card, number 170. Um, so very nice. Happy to pull that. And let's see what our hit is here. Whoops. I'm going to go ahead. I guess I'm going to go ahead and show it. Let's go ahead and just flip this over. And it's an Ozzy Albies memorabilia card. So there you go. Nice looking card. Dual memorabilia. DK materials. You can see the print in the, the side there. Here's the back of the card. Not numbered, but uh, Ozzy Albies. He's one of those players I'm really hoping for. Atlanta has a, a great year. He's shown some flashes of brilliance, I think, this year. And... and had some uh, had some great plays, uh, and then other times where he's not had some quite so great moments. So uh, hoping he can really pick it up and and turn it around a little bit. But definitely a nice card. I like that. Uh, so that means we still have an autograph to go, I believe. Because usually I think what Panini has done, at least in past years, is uh, you get one memorabilia card and typically one autograph card, or maybe a memorabilia and autograph card. Here's a Jemai Jones rookie. Here's a Joe Crown rookie, or Joe Cronin, I'm sorry, rookie. Uh, Luis Patino, not a rookie, what am I saying? Holy cow. Uh, Joe Cronin, <laughs> legacy player card. Here's a Luis Patino rookie. Uh, here's a Lou Gehrig, so that's a nice looking card. Let you see the back of that. Followed up by a Bo Bichette, who is uh, having another great year, so this will be a second year card for him. And here's a Garrett Cole. Uh, this is the aficionado cards for this year. They've had these in past sets as well. Uh, there's the back of it. They're not numbered, but uh, definitely nice looking cards. Here's a Shohei Otani who is having a great year. Um, and then followed by a Mookie Betts who is also having a great year. All right, let's get into our next pack. I believe this will be our, our fourth of 12. And uh, my, they definitely seal these up really well. Um, See if we can get that open without creating any real havoc. Uh, so far, the quality of these cards looks really good. I know some other products um, have had corner issues and different things. The edges, though, on these seem really nice. The corners seem really nice as well. So uh, overall, I'm super happy with this. So we'll start out this pack with a Manny Machado. Here's a, a Mickey Moniak rookie for Philly. Here's a Christy Matheson legacy player card. And it looks like we might have another hit in this. So here's a Lucas Giolito. I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of these, and we'll see who we've got in here. Here's the club card of uh, Sammy Sosa. So as a Cubs fan, super excited to pull that. Um, these are nice-looking cards as well. I like the uh, the way that they do these things uh, with the uh, different little, like, paint splatters and the way they, they – the artistic ability, I guess, of, of the people who create these and what they do. Here's a debut Diamond Kings of Jake Cronenworth. Uh, he's having a great little year so far as well. Um Maybe a little bit of a, a sleeper rookie, if you will. So uh, definitely excited to have that card. And then here's a rookie of Sam Huff as well. And let's see who we've got in this. Uh, let's go ahead and just take Manny Machado here. And we'll just put his card on there and flip this around. Oh, I see what this is going to be. This, uh, this will be our first, or our, I believe our only, I think it was one plum uh, framed card of Pete Alonzo. So there we go with that. Um, 
so a nice card there they take the base card and put a little plum frame around them it makes them a little bit thicker and gives them a little bit of a, a distinction um, it, it creates basically a new border as you can see from from the general card so uh, there you go our plum frame in this hobby box will be a Pete Alonzo not a bad player to have a uh, parallel card of for sure all right let's get on with our next pack I believe this will be pack number five and we'll start with a Tony Gwynn. It's a legacy card there. Really nice. Here's a Juan Soto. Here's an Ed Olivares rookie. Harvey Kuhn. Here's a George Mateo rookie. And a Spacer. And here we go, an Art of Hitting card. I saw these inserts on the checklist, and uh, I really like these. I think they're really nice the way they... So they put them together and they sort of mirror the, the player's image in the background a little bit. And then, um, you know, obviously have them uh, in the foreground as well. So there's the back of that card for you. Very nice. Like I said, I really like these cards. Um, I love the, the design typically of these. Uh, our last two cards in this pack are going to be a Luis Camposano rookie with San Diego. And a debut Diamond Kings card of Andres Jimenez. All right, so with this pack, we'll be halfway through the, the hobby box. And we're gonna start out this pack with a Joe Jackson card. So there we go. Nice little Shoeless Joe card there. Uh, here's a Casey Mize rookie. He's having a pretty decent year so far to Detroit. I think he might be another player that uh, has a pretty decent rookie campaign. I know there were some rookie cards of him last year as well in some packs. Uh, here's a Ha Song Kim with San Diego. Another rookie. Here's an Adonis Medina rookie. And here we're going to have a Harmon Killebrew. I'm going to assume this is going to be one of our framed cards. And it is, it's a gray frame, which is exclusive to the hobby box. Uh, both the gray and the plum frames are exclusive to the hobby box. And I believe there should be two of these. So here's the first one. We'll go ahead and put it up there, the Harmon Killebrew. Here's a nice legacy lithograph card of Mike Schmidt. Uh, I used to love collecting his cards back when I was a kid. And then here's a Mel Ott and a Carl Hubble. So that rounds out the first half of our hobby box here uh, some nice little cards so far a decent stack of rookies um again with this being a 170 card set and getting uh you know eight cards per pack and 12 packs per box if you take out a few of the insert cards we'll be pretty close to probably putting a full set together i'm sure we'll start seeing some duplicates as we get through this uh as we start into the second half of the hobby box so here we go with the second half <clears throat> we're going to start this out with a carl erskine you Darvish, who as a Cubs fan, I was sad to see go to San Diego, but uh, San Diego's put together a pretty nice little team there, so I'm excited for him and his chances at getting to the World Series. Here's a Vladimir Guerrero Sr., uh, junior, having a great year, but Vladimir Guerrero Sr., um, you know, obviously was a great player as well, and his son is carrying on that tradition of, of, of the Guerrero name for sure. Here's a Pete Alonso and a Christian Javier rookie. Uh, our next card is going to be an aficionado of Carl Hubble. So we just pulled his base card, and now we've got an aficionado card uh, for him. There's the back of that real quick. Again, I think those are really neat cards. And this is the debut Diamond King card I like to see come up, a Joe Adele. So there we go. Uh, one of the top rookies in, in baseball this year, one of the, the best prospects, I think, so far um, for the years gone. And then we're going to follow that up with his regular base rookie card. So there we go. Uh, in one pack, we got his debut Diamond Kings card and his regular rookie card. Uh, as you can see, his regular rookie card is a short print uh, in this set. So very excited to pull that. Um, so, so far, the, the Joe Adele and the Joey Bart rookie uh, are definitely my, my favorite rookie cards from this set. And uh, here we go with the next pack. Now, if we can just pull one of those... Um, those blacked out cards, uh, the Joe Adele card is the one they use in the, in, on their um, listing for for that. So it's a, it's a very nice looking card. 
Uh, if we could pull one of those, I'd be super excited to share that with you. Here's an Eddie Stankney card, followed by Key Brian Hayes, who uh, unfortunately started out uh, his first game one for five with a home run. I know this because it was against the Cubs, and uh, I believe Pittsburgh won that game. But uh, he's since been on the injured list with a with an injury to his wrist. So hopefully, uh, you know, he can get back and get get healthy. But love to see uh, that card pop up as well. Here's Freddie Freeman. Uh, so if you didn't see it, the the Braves and the Cubs just played the. Braves, again, were smashing the Cubs 10 to nothing. And so, as happens sometimes in baseball, when you're getting blown out, you start having a little bit of fun in your game. So the Cubs put Anthony Rizzo on the mound, and he struck out Freddie Freeman, which was a, you know, a really great really great thing to watch. I really appreciated that and enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun, um, excuse me, watching that game. Uh, here's our next hit. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and put it right down here for a minute. And here's a Gallery of Stars Fernando Tatis Jr. card. So I'm super excited to pull that. That is a great find. Uh, I really like that. This Gallery of Stars set is really a, a nice looking set of cards. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the back of it really quick. Uh, you know, again, just a, 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 a small subset of the cards within, um, you know, the Diamond King set this year. But uh, that is a great-looking card. I really appreciate that. I'm going to put it here with the Elegance card, I think. Here's a Tristan McKenzie rookie and a Tanner Houck rookie. And now let's see who our next card is going to be. We'll just do this as a flip-over. And it's uh, going to be a rookie materials card of Andre Jimenez. Uh, materials and autograph. So, great. Uh, I would love this if these were a an on-card autograph, but, uh, you know, unfortunately they had to do the stickers. I'm sure some of that's probably due to COVID restrictions and different things, but, um, yeah, definitely, definitely another nice card there. So we've got a, an Ozzy Albies materials card and an Andres Jimenez, um, materials and, and, uh, excuse me, autograph card. So I believe I said this was a rookie card just a minute ago. I don't believe that is the case, but, um, nonetheless, there we go. And looks like we've got four packs left. So we're about two thirds of the way through this box. And yeah, if you like what you see, like my videos, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe and then like button, um, for the video. Also hit the bell notifications icon so that you can get notified anytime that I post new content. Uh, I try to do that on a somewhat regular basis, but, uh, you know, obviously collecting is my my hobby and side business. It's not my full time job, so I do have to uh, to to work my full time job. So a little bit of time usually passes between videos. But I always appreciate you guys watching, appreciating the comments, anything that uh, you liked about the video, anything that you like about the cards, um, anything you'd like to see me do, or anything you'd like to see me change. Definitely leave those comments as well. I'm always open for that also. So let's get into this pack. We're going to start it out with a Trevor story, and then we're going to go with a Estevan Florial, rookie card, and then a Walter Johnson, and then we're going to have a Marcelo Zuna, and a Frank Thomas, legacy card, that's a nice looking card right there, then we're going to have our Spacer, and an Artist Palette card of Joey Gallo, so there you go with that card, nice looking, uh, I like the gold foil on the side, uh, really reflects and captures the light well. Let's take a look at the back of that really quick. There's the back. So far, that's the only one of those that we've pulled out of this set. And here's a debut Diamond Kings card of Tristan McKenzie. And then a Dalton Varsho rookie card. So there you go. All right, three packs left. Let's get into this, see what we can get. Uh, it'd be great if we pulled another short printed card. Um... You know, especially from like a, a sub-series of, of all of the different ones that are available. Uh, if you look at the checklist, I'll try to link it. I usually use Cardboard Connection when I'm looking at the checklist. So I'll try to link to that um, in the description of this video so that you'll have access to it and be able to, uh, to take a look at the checklist as well. Uh, it'll be the same one that I used when I was doing some research about this. So here we go with Bryce Harper leading things off in this pack. Here's an Isaac Paredes rookie. And here's a Charlie Keller, followed up by a Joe DiMaggio. And it looks like we're going to pull a numbered card out of here. So here we go with a Christy Matheson, 
Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see it real well. That's got more of a glossy finish to it. Um, I forget what the name of this uh, parallel is, but you can see right here, it's number 13 out of 25. So a uh, nice little numbered card there. Parallel, um, I want to say, uh, I believe the ones numbered out of 25 were in orange, but I'll have to look that up and double check. Maybe I can put a comment over the video when uh, when I when I publish it. So here's a Cal Ripken, the club card. So I'm going to add that one right down here with our Sammy Sosa. And then here's a Bob Gibson, St. Louis, and a debut Diamond Kings of Ryan Mountcastle. So there we go. Another nice uh, rookie prospect in Ryan Mountcastle right there. There's the back of that Bob Gibson. Again, it's a short printed card because it's over 100 in the number system out of the 170 card set. So here we go. Two packs remaining. Uh, let's see if we can get another numbered card out of here. Or again, like I said, one of those uh, all blacked out cards. Those were, those were looking super sweet. I really liked those when I saw the images of them in the checklist. All right, here we go with a Nate Pearson card to start us off, followed by a Lou Brock, and then followed by a Mike Trout. So there's a pretty good hitting combination for you right there. And then followed by a Jose Garcia, rookie for Cincinnati, uh, Buster Posey, and here's an elegance card of Manny Machado. There we go, those are nice. Again, not a numbered card, but uh, nice looking cards. I really like those a lot. Here's a David Garcia uh, with New York. He just had his his debut um, uh, maybe a week or so ago, and I think he did all right in that. And here's a Nick Niedert rookie card as well. All right, we're down to one more pack. So our last pack from the box. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I really enjoy or appreciate you guys watching and, and leaving any feedbacks and uh, comments that you might have on it. So... Here we go. All right, let's get some last pack magic going here. Let's see who we've got. We're going to start out with a Clark Schmidt rookie. And then we're going to go to a Ted Williams. And a DJ LeMayhew. And then here's a Ryan Sandberg. So as a Cubs fan, I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to guess that this Lou Brock card coming up is probably our other gray frame card. And it is. So there we go. A Lou Brock gray frame uh, to go with our Harmon Killebrew. And then we've got another Legacy Lithograph cards of Joe Wood. And then here's a Shane McClanahan debut Diamond Kings card. Plays with the Tampa Bay Rays. And our last card in the set. Super excited for this. A Javier Baez. Uh, definitely my favorite player on the Cubs. Looking forward to going uh, to uh, an actual live baseball game again. I did get tickets just recently, actually, to go uh, at the beginning of June and watch the Padres and the Cubs play, actually. So I'm super excited to see some of the young talent on the Cubs. Nico Horner, I think, is having a pretty decent season, uh, as well as a lot of the um, incredible talent that the Padres have put together with Tatis and Machado and Trent Grisham and a lot of those players that are just uh, you know, knocking it out of the park, so to speak, for them, literally and figuratively. Anyway, there you go. Here is uh, 2021 Diamond Kings baseball hobby box opening uh this would represent some of the cards you might be able to pull you can see we pulled a fair number a uh, decent sized stack i guess if you will of of rookie cards i think obviously uh probably my favorite ones out of this are gonna be um the joe adele for sure uh and this key brian hayes i'm uh, really excited about him as a player here's joe adele um casey my is another decent one um, and then, uh, I think just, uh, starting out the video with this Joey Bart card was probably a, a, a lot of fun as well. So there you go. There's all the rookies that we pulled. Um, here's our two, um, relic card and a relic and autograph card, Ozzy Albies and Andres Jimenez. Um, both great cards. I'm really happy to have those and add those into my collection, um, Definitely worth, uh, definitely worth a look. I think, in my opinion, if you have, if you like Diamond Kings at, at all, uh, and you can get past the fact that Panini does not have a um, license for the MLB teams, uh, then by all means, uh, I think you should definitely give this a a shot and a, a look at opening it.
All right, and there you go. There you have it. So thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. And as always, enjoy collecting.